Hello guys, how you doing? So, I'm going to watch episode 26 of the third season of A Certain Magical Index today and this will be the last episode of this season and uh, of Index for now since uh, there isn't um, any more Index seasons out uh, yet, I believe so we'll have to wait for more content and this is all assuming that um, there is more content to be adapted because once again I don't know if um, there's uh, something else uh, during the light novels but I'm assuming that uh, this will uh, like have um, a continuation so really curious to see when uh, more um, content about uh, Toaru is uh, going to come out but uh, I still have um, a few like um, seasons to watch like Accelerator and uh, the third season of Relgan, so it's not like uh, I won't have anything to watch uh, about this afterwards. Uh, but yeah, it's definitely going to be a bit sad after I finish the third season of Railgun because at that point uh, there probably won't be anything else about this and I will have to wait, just like all of the others, uh, for some uh, more content. Um, but yeah, it's uh, I'm definitely loving uh, all of these series and uh, I really can't wait to, to see how this specific um, season is going to end since uh, the situation is really wild and there's this uh, war going on. Um, but uh, at the same time, things are looking um, like not exactly better, but uh, in the sides of um, humanity, um, it's nice to see like some of the things that are happening, like uh, um, soldiers from different countries uh, coming together and like while they were enemies during this war, um, there's this uh, understanding about uh, what they should be doing, like fighting uh, the common enemy. Um, and that seems really nice, so it's uh, something like this that Tomo was talking about, about the goodwill in people's uh, hearts, that you can't just uh, like um, say all the bad things about uh, humanity without uh, also talking about the good things, because there's uh, both uh, of them, like there's no such thing as uh, perfect people who only uh, do good or bad people who only do bad things. Um, but yeah, in the end, of course, this is um, maybe not the case for every single person, like there's some really evil people out there. Um, but yeah, in the end, it's all about like um, believing in humanity and uh, in how people can change. And uh, I, I don't know if this is like, if this could be um, like... Um, if I could say this about uh, Mugino and Accelerator, but uh, I feel like the situation could be a bit about them as well. So we see how even though they did some really bad things, um, there's also a good side to them and they're just uh, doing that now and uh, like uh, taking, um, like using this second chance to do something good. Um, so yeah, it's definitely going to be interesting to see what will happen uh, with um, with all of them. Like, there's a lot of people involved uh, right now. Um, and there's also all of the churches coming together. So that was also really special. And we even got to see uh, some new characters, I believe. I don't think I've ever seen uh, those uh, characters from the Russian, uh, Russian church before. Um, and yeah, it was definitely really, really great to see that happening and hopefully Fiamma will be stopped and uh, Index uh, will be uh, saved like, and goes back to uh, this uh, really sweet girl. Um, but yeah, I'll have to see what happens during this next episode. I really can't wait to watch it. So with this, really hope you guys are ready and let's start it. Accelerator. It was really crazy. Last order. It's last. Last order. Damn. Just going to. Occur. Damn, this moment is so special. Yeah. 
Yeah. Man, I love this moment. You can say all the bad things you want about Accelerator and what he did, but... If this doesn't eat you, I don't know. He's also going to... Damn, he's actually going to be the one going there. So nice to see Less Order doing well again. And this is making me cry, for real. Such a beautiful moment. Look at that! Like an angel now! Damn! This is amazing. And look at this. Damn. This episode already started. Like with... Quite the powerful moment. Damn. Hmm. They're stopping it. To stop him. Damn. To get that. Or like destroy it so no one can use it again.
to go there. Next gate. And he's still taking taking in Hmm. This is crazy to see how he's doing this. Second chances. I love how this is applying to a lot of people. Oh, Misaka, there she is with the plane. And there's Caesar as well. Going to save him. Damn, it's to do it. So there's something else he wants to do. Cancelled it. This is sinking. Oh, the index is there, or like a projection or something. Or oh, you wanted to? It's about that. Um... That thing, yeah, you wanted to go back for that. In this moment. Expecting him to do this during this season. You need to survive. Hmm. I don't know if she heard it or not. Herself. Oh. Into this right. There she is. Man, this episode is, are, is already so emotional. That moment with the accelerator hit me so hard. 
Now this with Toma. I was expecting him to tell Index the truth at some point. Oh. And I love how he's trying to make that crash in a safe place. Damn. I'm really loving everything about this. Ooh. Still there. Damn, she wasn't completely defeated before, so... I'll need to deal with that. Only if Accelerator is going to do it. That's going to do it. And these effects, though. Damn, this is really crazy. Crazy good. Damn. Who's this one? Oh. Eight? You mean the eighth level five or? Hmm. Oh. 
What has changed? Damn. They were there. I still don't know who she is. Yeah. He did great. Holy... Damn. Man, for a moment, I saw a accelerator there. Now I actually see him. Hmm. Getting out. Really? He actually turned it on like my mistake. Holy. It was he like bluffing to make them eat the button again, thinking it was maybe on. There's Fiamma. Wonder what he's going to do. Toma believes that he can change as well, so... Who did that? Is it... Oh, it's him? Okay, then. These... I don't. Yeah. Is that stuff? Damn, that was fast. Purifier of Gods. What was that? It just disappeared. The Golden Sorcerer. Learning more about him. For sure.
Damn, I don't think I've ever seen his body like that. That's crazy. There's I wasn't Yoka. Yeah. Very stoma though. Oh damn. Still alive? As you got. Damn, some new people. That's good. The war came to an end. Oh, there he is. Hopefully still alive. I'm glad they confirmed it before this episode ended. Yeah, I mean, it's what I've been saying before, like, in the middle of all of his bad luck, there's also some of these uh, good luck moments. Um, but yeah, man, this episode was just uh, unbelievably good, I really loved everything about it. And, uh, like, there was a, a lot of, like, um, good moments during it, like, the whole episode was just uh, amazing, like, it was a great end to this uh, amazing season. Um, and I, like, it, it started really, like... It, in a really powerful way, so like with that really strong moment with um, Accelerator and how he was uh, like gaining these angel wings and the Aureola and everything, that was just really beautiful and that moment when he hugged Last Order and was really relieved to see that uh, she was uh, okay, Man, that was special, and like I said at that moment, um, you can hate um, Accelerator as much as you want, and of course, there's reasons to do so, because of what he did before with um, some of the sisters, um, but if that moment didn't eat you, then... Like, I really don't know, like, it's um, it's really hard to not uh, feel, uh, like, um, some sort of uh, a compassion about him after everything uh, uh, is done, so it's, uh, like, um, it's something that really hit me, and that that whole moment was so beautiful, and, like, wa watching our last order also wanted them to be together forever, that was just amazing, and, like, the, the whole start of this episode was already so good, but uh, it just uh, like kept going and uh, the the quality never like decreased in my opinion so uh, all of the moments were really well done and uh, like there was then this moment with um, with um, Fiamma and Toma and how like uh, Toma was able to stop him but he was uh, like after everything Fiamma was uh, talking about uh, Toma still believed that he could change so that was really amazing from him and uh, I really love the fact that uh, a lot of these characters are given second chances um, and uh, we saw by the end how Fiamma was uh, already thinking uh, or like um, agreeing with what Toma was saying so that was definitely a, a really beautiful detail about uh, this whole story and uh, really love these kind of moments um, and then that uh, like big moment with um, Alistair actually appearing so that made me a bit confused because I don't know much about him, I just uh, know him 
like um, with him being uh, upside down inside of that um, like um, I don't know the, the, that tank or something um, and yeah like now he actually appears with uh, his full body so I don't know how that works but uh, we are probably going to learn more about him eventually with some of these uh, uh, next seasons. I don't know if uh, the Red Gun 1 and the Accelerator 1 is uh, going to show uh, something uh, else about him, uh, but that was already quite something. And to see how easily he defeated Fiamma, that was crazy. He was just like uh, really fast, like did it um, like really swiftly, um, but Fiamma didn't die. So um, I don't know who. Where exactly these other two guys uh, are, like the ones who just showed up uh, next to his body and uh, he was still alive, so that was uh, actually good. Um, and uh, they were like saying a bit of like who they are, but I mean, they're entirely new to me, so I'll have to see more about them at some point to understand more of uh, what they are uh, intending on doing. Um, but they clearly want uh, information from uh, Fiamma, so. It's going to be interesting to to see more of this, like to see what exactly is going to happen after this whole situation. Um, but yeah, it was uh, again a really a really great episode. Really loved uh, everything about this, like from um, story to characters to the whole uh, animation and all of the effects. That was really amazing as well, and uh, also the soundtrack. Like I must uh, say that. Um, the soundtrack that was playing during that moment uh, with uh, Accelerator and The uh, Last Order, uh, that was, um, it's that kind of song that uh, makes uh, a moment even more like um, emotional and really makes it, it eat you. Like sometimes when I'm watching something, um, e even if it's like a really sad moment, um, like um, if uh, there's no music uh, along with it, um, I don't know, but it just doesn't feel as sad as uh, if it if there was actually a sad song playing uh, with it. So it's uh, something that uh, probably a lot of you guys can relate with, and there's uh, a lot of these moments that uh, I experienced uh, before in anime when there's something really sad happening, but then the music that goes along with it um, is like uh, so like uh, sad but beautiful that makes the whole moment eat you even harder. So this is basically what happened with that first moment during this episode. And I mean, that really made me tear up. That was definitely a really emotional moment. Um, but yeah, it was um, really, really, really awesome to watch this. I really loved this entire season. And again, some of the things were complicated, of course, and I probably didn't get uh, some of the things right. And uh, I'm probably wrong about some of the things as well. Uh, but now it's probably the point when I actually want to look up for stuff. So as long as it's not something about, um, like something that won't be explained um, during the, um, or like what I'm trying to say is that I want to know more about this season, but uh, only information that doesn't inclu include stuff that will be explained during the... Um, Accelerator season and the third season of Railgun. So it's uh, something that I'm go definitely going to want. And of course, you guys are free to comment about it and uh, like uh, more details about uh, the light novel, for example. Like to, until this point, that's uh, something that um, I'm interested on right now since I already finished uh, this season. Um, so yeah, it's always great to see all of you guys' explanations because it makes it easier to um, to to understand something by having different uh, points of view and uh, like uh, seeing uh, how like all of you guys think uh, about this whole situation. Um, so yeah, it's uh, something that um, I'm looking forward to and uh, just really hope uh, that uh, you guys uh, like enjoyed my reaction to this. Um, but I also want to touch on something else. So there was that moment with Index and uh, there was apparently like this projection of her and probably because of that um, device. Um, and Toma was uh, finally saying her the truth. So I was uh, again expecting that to happen after the conversation Fiamma and Toma had before the the first time they met. I'm not uh, uh, not really the first time they met, but uh, the first time they met in Russia, I guess, when they were fighting against each other and stuff. Um, it, it was already implied that um, uh, Toma was uh, going to want to um, talk with Index 
as soon as possible. So to really apologize for adding something like that. Um, but I don't know, like at that point, or like um, during this episode when he was uh, uh, telling her dad that he actually uh, lost his memories, um, I don't know if she heard that because he was about to say it. There was then there was a lot of noise, so I don't know if she ended up hearing it or not. But yeah, it's something that I'm not too sure about. I want to believe that she didn't, uh, mostly because of her response afterwards uh, as well, saying that it doesn't really matter and stuff. It just matters about like him being okay and things. Um, but yeah, it's um, again. Hopefully, you will be back uh, uh, to. Um, to Academy City and we'll be able to be um, with uh, Index. Uh, but there's a lot of uh, like things that um, like that I'm thinking about right now. So there's um, this uh, dark side of Academy City, of course, and a lot of these characters are actually going to try and do something about it. And we already saw with um, Accelerator, which was really funny, like to see that moment when he was um, like um, locked or something. I don't know how exactly to say it. Uh, but the guys were doubting that, um, like, thinking about how maybe the switch uh, was actually on. So they wanted to double check. And uh, I don't know how that device uh, works. Maybe there isn't, uh, an, like, an on-off switch. It's just, like, um, you press it and it's either on or off. Like, you can't really see it or something. I'm not too sure. Uh, but the guy decided to press it and actually activated it. So that was um, quite something and uh, something that uh, Accelerator was probably like uh, planning um so yeah that was definitely really great and of course he's going to have uh, um to uh, not going to have but he's going to try and do everything he can to stop all of this uh, uh darkness and uh, to be able to be with um, less order and like together without uh, having um with, without having to do uh, the dirty work of uh, the Academy City and uh, like uh, putting uh, less order into danger and stuff. So yeah, that's uh, something I really loved about him. Um, and there's also this uh, about uh, Amazura and Mugino and this episode showed a lot about uh, how she is already changing. So she was uh, already thinking of ways to like have this um, to to put Academy City into check, like having uh, her blood, uh, like the DNA map, uh, be like um, all three of them possessing it, um, and that's uh, like that was already quite something to see that she was uh, willing to do something like that to um, to help them out. That's uh, really something special. So uh, I really love that about her. And uh, I still don't know who exactly that other girl was with uh, the helmet, uh, but she was uh, apparently like uh, involved with that dark side of Academy City. So uh, Amazura instantly wanted to uh, get information out of her, of course. And I mean, at that point, it really like when I said that uh, I kind of saw Accelerator there was uh, basically how he was acting like uh, how we are used to see Accelerator acting. So basically being um, like showing his cruel side uh, as long as it's uh, in order to protect someone he loves. Um, and yeah, it's um, of course he's going to try and uh, do everything he can to uh, protect these girls and to make uh, item be together again or at least uh, uh, the remaining of, um, of their members. Like I still want to see moments with Kinohata and uh, I don't know how she's going to react um, to Mugino being there once again but that's something we'll have to see at some point probably during the next season of Index um, but then again I'm not too sure if maybe the third season of Railgun will show something uh, about them I don't know when exactly like um, I don't know when like the, the timeline of the third season of Railgun. So I don't know if it's uh, like what's going to happen during that season is uh, going to be like before this uh, this uh, situation happened in the third season of Index. Um, but yeah, it's something to discover by like watching it, of course. Um, so yeah, right now just really happy with um, all of these uh, Index seasons. It was definitely amazing to watch this story and I'm going to be even more uh, happier when uh, I get more like when I get a better understanding of uh, how everything was and stuff and that's uh, uh, when you guys are going to be really helpful 
so yeah, really hope you guys enjoyed my reaction to this uh, episode and to this season as well. And if you did, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And you can also join my Discord and my Patreon if you want to get early access to my full reactions. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the Accelerator season.